वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल लुकिंग एट इम्पोर्टेंट हेडलाइंस फ्रॉम द हिंदू न्यूज पेपर फॉर ट्वेंटी फिफ्थ जुलाई ऑन द फ्रंट पेज यू हैव बीजेपी प्लान टू स्टेक क्लेम सुनर एंड लेटर सो दिस इज फॉर द डेवलपमेंट इन कर्नाटका एंड दिस इज अपोजिशन वॉन्ट्स सिलेक्ट पैनल स्क्रूटनी ऑफ की बिल्स सो दिस वी हैव डिस्कस जेस्टे ऑल्सो दैट इट इज सेट सो फार गवर्नमेंट हैज पास अराउंड थर्टीन बिल्स विदाउट हैंडिंग दैम टू पार्लियामेंट्री कमिटी so opposition is demanding that uh, select uh, panel scrutiny means parliamentary select committee should scrutinize bills key bills before they are passed by lok sabha and rajya sabha then this is chandrayaan 2 gets first orbit boost so this is uh, you know for the development in chandrayaan 2 which has been launched so here you can see it has uh, raised its first orbit raising maneuver has been done on day 3 and successfully been done then on page 2 you have do we need to restrain google from uploading india maps so this is what the delhi high court has asked the central government to see whether internet search engine uh, company that is google should it be restrained from uploading maps of india including defense installations on its website so it is uh, asked by the center asked by the high court to the center because there are people claiming sensitive areas are accessible on web on page 8 you have Andhra Pradesh passes bill on 75% quota for local youth so it is uh, the Andhra Pradesh government under vice jagmohan reddy which has passed this bill in the legislative assembly it's called ap employment of local candidates in industries factories bill which provides for 75% reservation to local youth in industries and factories and it also calls for train uh, you know provides for has provisions to train eligible candidates for bridging the skill gap then on page 9 you have the further detail regarding chandrayaan 2 so its maneuvers its you know insertion into lunar orbit the how it would be taking place all this is shown here and this is center notifies pension scheme for small traders so formal launch of portal would take place by prime minister later so this is pension scheme for small traders which has been notified now and it's been introduced on a trial basis as such so formal launch of the scheme will take place later so here you can see the detail given pradhan mantri laghu vyapari manthan manthan yojana 2019 so this is what it is called we have studied about it but it had not been announced yet there was no name to the scheme yet yet and now this is the announcement so it's a pension scheme then this is sand mining supreme court seeks reply from center and five states so notice has been issued to tamil nadu and andhra pradesh along with other state governments and as well as the central government on a plea for cbi probe into rampant illegal beach and river sand mining which is causing severe ecological imbalance disturbing the water tables and resulting in land degradation on the editorial page the first editorial is weight gain so this is regarding bjp stand to gain by not rushing in to fill the space vacated by the fractious coalition in karnataka when the congress jds coalition government uh, fall it has already fallen then next is undermining rti so this is regarding how amendments to rti they should not downgrade the status of information panels we have been discussing about these rti amendments to the rti amendment bill of 2019 then this is having the last word on population control so this article says that there should be a clear understanding that offering choices and services rather than outright state control works best so it will be people who themselves understand and undertake population control you know like behavioral changes kind of a thing the way we want people to change so that would work better rather than state control then this is shifting strategic concerns so this says what india needs to do as the us and china get busier in the subcontinent is discussed here like how we need to shift our strategic concerns because you know, we have our issues to be tackled to so this is in the context of uh, you know us president donald trump recently saying that uh, he would like to mediate in kashmir and that prime minister narendra modi offered him so 
so so how we need to change our strategic focus is being discussed here then on opet page you have making chennai a water wise city so we saw water scarcity in chennai city recently even kerala government offered help it had made international news leonardo di caprio had the titanic movie hero had spoken about it in a tweet so this article says that there is a compelling need for a paradigm shift in the way the ongoing water crisis is being viewed means we need to make uh, chennai you know water water wise as it is called so what needs to be done is water source augmentation deepening of water bodies giving rain water harvesting renewed emphasis and boost so these steps would help in making chennai water wise and then this is contentious remedies for a clear structural malady so this is regarding the new education policy so the draft new education policy proposal proposals it the article says will not ensure equity in healthcare so the article talks about certain issues with the draft new educational policy it says here like for example it's the new draft new educational policy states that fees in medical colleges both public and private will be left to be decided by the institutions themselves so this point and then it is said cost of education should be lower so both are contradictory it also says that at one point the policy document states that all private institutions should be not for profit and then the committee also says that they can decide their own fees so these are the concerns being raised you can see the objectivity of autonomy the objectives of autonomy and adaptation to local needs are contradicted by high levels of centralization in medical education by national medical commission so such contradictory points are there in the Uh, draft new education policy document so those have been highlighted with respect to health medical education then this is island of hope that is sri lanka in the is in the midst of global measles resurgence so sri lanka has become the become free of uh, measles as such so uh, the, it became the fourth country in asia after bhutan maldives and timor leste to eliminate measles so there are concerns now about resurgence so that is discussed here then this is unlawful activities prevention uh, you know act as such the bill to amend it has been cleared amid walkout so opposition says it's draconian and objects to designation and the opposition has objected to designation of individuals as terrorists so this is another bill in news now unlawful activities prevention amendment bill 2019 and this is pocso bill cleared so this is regarding rajya sabha approving the protection of children from sexual offences amendment bill 2019 so then this is ba- bill to ban unregulated deposit schemes pass so we have been discussing about this scheme too which is against ponzi schemes so this has been passed by the lok sabha now so every time bills are in news when they are cleared by the cabinet when they are introduced when they are passed by lok sabha passed by rajya sabha and any controversy related to that and this is cic orders won't be taken seriously so this is what has been stated now regarding the rti amendment that uh, after that central information commission orders would, won't be taken seriously then on page 13 you have 30000 militants active in pakistan so this is pakistan prime minister imran khan who has made an admission that around 30000 to 40000 militants trained in afghanistan and kashmir are still operating in pakistan so this may become a serious issue for islamabad with financial action task force too and india is likely to raise the issue at fatf meeting in october 2019 The financial action task force we have done quite often this is an intergovernmental organization on against money laundering and terror financing so it reprimands countries and pakistan has presently been put in the gray list which affects its financial relations as such so like how it can borrow money from international market as such so that is uh, affected its uh, rating as such is affected on international page you have china says it wants security and stability along india border so this is a chinese paper chinese military saying that ties with india are improving 
and this is Facebook fine five billion dollars for privacy violations. So U.S. regulator has slapped a record five billion dollar fine on Facebook for privacy violations in a settlement requiring uh, Facebook, which is the world's biggest social networking site, to submit new restrictions and modified corporate structure. So we have been discussing about this too, you know, how Facebook is being fined, and this is. We will deploy army if Hong Kong seeks it. So China has issued a stark reminder that its army could be deployed in Hong Kong if city authorities requested support in maintaining public order. There have been protests going on for weeks in Hong Kong now. Then on business page you have GST Council may reduce tax on electric vehicles. So the GST Council will have its 36th meeting today. So members are likely to discuss easing of solar sector levies and rates for lotteries too at the later meet and this is DCC that is Digital Communications Commission which was earlier known as Telecom Commission. So DCC has okayed 3050 crore penalty on Airtel Vodafone idea. So telecom, these telecom companies did not provide points of interconnection to Jio when it was launched Reliance Jio. So that's why they have been uh, you know, they are facing a penalty of 3050 crore rupees. And this is indices, India rises in global innovation in ranking. So India has jumped five places to rank 52 in global innovation index 2019. Earlier it was 57, now it is five ranks up to 52. So global innovation index is brought out by UN World Intellectual Property Organization. And this is India China to overtake US in tech innovation. So it is said India and China will surpass US as the world centers of tech innovation by 2035. So this is an um, estimate being made. On page 16 you have US to effect steep hike in EB5 charges. So minimum amount required for visa will go up to 9 lakh dollars from the existing 5 lakh. So this we have been discussing earlier too. We have discussed about EB5 visa which is for investors in USA. So the, how this is being made more stringent too. Because H1B visa being made stringent, people use this route. But now this year also conditions are being made stringent. Then on the last page you have large scale burning of grasslands detrimental to invertebrates. So this is a study from Eraviculum National Park which says prescribed strategy to conserve threatened ungulates adversely impacts other species. So when vertebrates are being protected, invertebrates are adversely affected. So that is discussed here. Then this is Milky Way's violent birth decoded. So this is a study on how Milky Way was born. So it is said Milky Way, which is disc shaped, was born was shaped so as a result of collision with another smaller galaxy 10 billion years ago. And here you have India's first dragon blood oozing tree. So researchers have discovered Prakena Cambodiana in West Kirby Anglong district of Arunachal Pradesh. So here you can see that this is a tree which is an important medicinal plant as well as an ornamental tree which is dragon blood oozing. So these are the important headlines. For detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit a website ahr.com and also the pdfs are uploaded thank you